Joe Hopkins here, and today I'm doing a concert review. I did one a little over a month ago on Aerosmith. I, I went to see them on their Peace Out tour, and a lot of people really appreciated the uh, the review of it, so they, they get an idea, is this a show I want to see, or like we have behind the stage seating, and is it any good, that kind of stuff. So I thought... <laughs> I might do this again, <coughs> excuse me, since I uh, have been going to shows, I'm going to be going to some more shows, you know, it's the holidays, a lot of people are on tour, and they're doing some really good stuff out there, so the other day I went to see Steve Martin and Martin Short, and uh, you know, yeah, I did I did get some footage, I'll, I'll play the little bit I got later, I'll tell you why it's a little bit. Right. First, before I give my impressions of the show, uh, man, we saw them at the Lyric Opera House in Baltimore, Maryland. And, you know, every show, right, they always tell you, you you can't bring certain things in, especially food and water, right? Because, oh, God, I think we spent close to 100 bucks on food, water, a couple beverages, right? I had one beer, like $15 beers. Yeah, that's why they don't want you to bring stuff in, man. $4.50 for a bottle of water, that kind of stuff. It's a little nuts. So, okay, I get it. I get it. They're going to rape you on the concessions, right? And they always say that uh, at every show, every show, you, you know, no, turn off your cell phones, no pictures and video, that kind of stuff. And then everybody takes pictures and video anyway. Nobody does anything about it. Well, if you ever go to the Lyric Opera House in Baltimore, Maryland, when they say you no know, videos, they mean it, man. They were like, yeah, they had burly women in blue shirts walking around the the uh, theater making sure you ain't taking video. They, yeah, yeah, they they really mean it. Their, their bag policy is like, security's pretty tight there, right? So anyway, but that doesn't have to do with the show itself, so... There we go. The show, uh, first of all, it's kind of nice. They're playing, it, it would seem, smaller venues. They're not really, really big venues. The Lyric is uh, an opera house. It's, you know, it's not a, a big place. It's like theater-sized. You know what I mean? And that seems to be the venues they're playing, like large theater kind of venues. And that's nice because we sat, like, all the way up in the back, and you can still see them pretty good. And of course, they had a, a big TV like a big monitor behind them. You, you, you know, they're projecting the picture and all that, but you can still see them pretty good, even from the back, right? I do kind of like sitting in the back. Um, so yeah, that, that was pretty nice. And uh, are they still funny? Yes, they're still funny. Uh, I do have to say their act was very old fashioned comedy act, right? And of course there's music thrown in there because, I mean, Steve Martin plays the banjo, he's a musician, that kind of stuff. And, uh, y you know, uh, but the very old-fashioned act, this is the kind of thing that would have felt stale maybe 20 or 30 years ago. It would have felt like, man, this is like old-type material. It's, the, you know, not really, not really very fresh. But uh, comedy has moved on and become this whole, you know, modern stand-up, modern comedy, that kind of thing. Everything's moved on so much since then that the old-fashioned uh, show feels a little refreshing again. You know, uh, this is the kind of thing that would have been fresh in the 80s. And it really feels fresh again because everything has changed for so long that it's, it, you know, time, time warp kind of things. Like going into the past. Uh, they did joke, they made a joke that they, they're taking an hour's worth of material and stretching it into two. They kind of did. There was a lot of stretching of material. It was done well. It really was. And, of course, there's a musical interlude in the in the middle. Uh, you obviously get a little bit of Steve Martin playing the banjo. Uh, they had Jeff Babco with them on piano. And, you know, he's part of the comedy act. He, he does, he's like their straight man for some of the jokes, that kind of stuff. But they had this, uh, the Steep Canyon Rangers. And, of course, they got a little... There was a period in the middle of the show where <clears throat> where the, the Steep Canyon Rangers played a couple songs. And I, I have to say, in all honesty, they were uh, amazing. They really were. They were really good uh, with Steve Martin playing with them. Of course, he did, like, a comedy song with them. And then he left the stage, and the Rangers played... 
I think three songs, something like that. And uh, they came back out at the end and finished up. I'll show you in a second. But the, uh, the Steep Canyon Rangers are an amazing, amazing bluegrass folk act. If you like that kind of music, they're definitely worth seeing. You know what I mean? It was uh, guitar, mandolin, banjo, fiddle, uh, stand-up, like full-size bass, and uh, percussion. And I, not drums, really, but percussion. And uh, yeah, so they, they were amazing. Their fiddle player is unbelievably good. I know I'm going on about that uh, when I was there to see Steve Martin and Martin Short, except the truth is I was there to see the Steep Canyon Rangers, too. They're a great, great band. Uh, I got to say, the ticket prices weren't that steep. It, I forget how much it was, but it wasn't like some crazy amount of money. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It's why uh, my wife bought the tickets. It's why she bought them. But if you want to see them in your town, keep an eye out for when tickets go on sale. Because when they first went on sale, they were playing an 8 o'clock showing, right? 8 p.m. And it sold out like that. I mean, fast. And then they added a second show. They added a 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And my wife got tickets to that. I'm glad she did. It's nice because it's like a three-hour drive from where I live to Baltimore. So it's it's nice to get home before midnight. I know that sounds like I'm an old man or something, but I had to work the next day. So it, it was nice. A three o'clock showing really worked well. Uh, so, but yeah, sometimes they'll add, apparently sometimes they'll add a second show, an afternoon show, if the evening show sells out. So if you want to see them, keep an eye out for the tickets, because they've been selling out pretty quick when they announce a show. And uh, don't don't give up if it sells out. Take a look and see if they put on a second show for earlier in the day. It was definitely worth going to see. I mean, Steve Martin is uh, quite elderly at this point. They made a lot of old people jokes, because both of them are like in their 70s, right? Steve Martin's got to be pushing 80 at this point. What do you say? What he's 77 is what he said he is now. Uh, the internet, I think, said he's 78. But he's, he said 77 and was making jokes about his age, obviously. So who knows how much longer they'll be around. They might be around another 20 years. They might not. Um, so if you do want to see them... It, it, now would be a good time, you know? Uh, my wife bought these tickets months ago, and I kept making the joke, you know, if they die between now and then, we're not getting a refund. <laughs> and uh, it, it's a joke, but it's also not, because they could die. Anyway, uh, if you guys are thinking of going to a comedy show, it's well worth seeing, because, I mean, Steve Martin, Martin Short, these guys are legends. They're legendary comedians. Uh you know, it, and yeah, they are stretched. Like I said, they're stretching their material a bit. It opens up with famous clips of, of all their stuff from the past, like from movies and sketches and things like that. And then they come out and they do some comedy. And then there's, you know, some music in the middle. And then they come out and they actually did other people's jokes. And they, it was... I guess it's a way to have material that you didn't have to put together, but they did them well. It really was a really good show. And uh, it's funny, Steve Martin, he said, uh, if anybody wanted to, you know, if hearing a banjo song in the middle of a comedy show is on your bucket list, well, you're in luck tonight. And everybody laughed except me because actually I, I love Steve Martin. Uh, I wanted to see him when he was on tour just playing the banjo. Um you know, when he was just doing music and wasn't really doing much comedy. And it was nice to get to see him do his music thing, because I didn't get to see him when he was just doing music, which I guess wasn't as popular as his comedy. But I am I play the banjo. I'm a fan of banjo music. I know that sounds funny, but it, it shouldn't be. It, I, like, I like folk music. I, you know, I played it for years, and I like it. And I, I liked getting to see him, and the Steep Canyon Rangers were amazing. So there you go. If you go to see them, as usual, plan on spending way too much on parking and concessions. Um, <laughs> but that's any show. We all expect it. We already know it. Um, so, But a lot of the small theaters are pretty hardcore about what you can bring in, what size bag or purse you can have, look up the requirements ahead of time. The Lyric in Baltimore is pretty strict about that stuff. I mean, they won't even let you bring in a wallet if it's too big a wallet, you know? So 
uh, I had wallet, phone, and keys, and that was it. And a lot of those places really are pretty strict about cell phone policies. It's not just the lyric. A lot of small theaters are like that. So e expect that. They're not playing big venues that are a little more lenient on all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's a good time to see them while they're still alive and while they're still funny. Who knows? They, they might get the mention and not be funny anymore. Or maybe you'll get the mention and be funnier. Who knows? And uh, I, I hope this was somewhat informative. Uh, always take a look at the venue. If it is a smaller venue, sitting in the back ain't that bad. It's pretty good. Uh, it wasn't terribly loud either. Actually, um, <clears throat> they really had to watch their timing and, and wait till the audience stopped laughing to do the next joke. Or you wouldn't have been able to hear them. Uh, obviously, you know, they're mic'd, but it, at least the one I went to wasn't super loud. So it wasn't uncomfortable. Uh, like some places are really loud, rock shows, stuff like that. You might want to bring earplugs. The one I saw, don't, you don't have to worry about it. It wasn't terribly loud. Even when the band was playing, it, it wasn't really, really loud. It was pleasant. It was, a, it was about, you know, a normal TV volume, right? In the back. I imagine maybe it was louder up front where the speakers are. Anyway, uh, I hope this was somewhat informative. I hope you guys get to see some shows this year and uh, subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out. I'm going to be doing more, more reviews. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, right here is where I, I put in the video. Uh, I waited till the end of the show. This is the end of the show because at the very end, it's like, well, you know, they're not going to kick me out. What can they do? It's the end. And I, I videoed a little bit. So here we go. So there you go. Now I, I can finish up the video. I almost, I almost forgot to show you that video. Yeah, the whole, what are they going to do now? It's the end. Ooh, I'm going to video it. Yeah, so I got a little bit, little bit. You can see the, the Steep Canyon Rangers playing and Steve Martin and Martin Shore, like, you know, they're, they're heading out. End of the show. Anyway, subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out because I'm going to be, like I said, doing more show reviews. Upcoming, I think we have, assuming nothing gets canceled and it doesn't snow so hard that we can't get there, we're supposed to do Sarah Brightman, uh, Mariah Carey, and Madonna between now and the end of the year. They're all doing Christmas shows. So, yeah, Mariah Carey at Christmas. I don't care if you're a fan of Mariah Carey or not. I'm not the biggest Mariah Carey fan except for her Christmas album, which I am a big fan of, and I'm going to go see her at a Christmas show. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm not a huge Mariah fan. I love Mariah Carey. She's great. I'm not not the not bucket list kind of thing, but a Christmas show. And uh, I do have to say, if you want to see Mariah Carey, you better get your tickets now because she's only doing 15 shows in a month, and that's it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. From November to December, uh, 30, 31 days, something like that. And she's done. <sniffs> she doesn't tour much. And when she does, she doesn't tour for very long. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for those other reviews. I love you guys. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.